Hey everyone, it's Nikea and I am back for week 31. I'm 31 weeks pregnant today. Yay! <laughs> um, so I'm 31 weeks and one day, or two days today actually. Um, which means that I am eight weeks close to meeting Kaylee, which makes me super, super excited. Um, I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I am that we're in the month of May. I can't believe April's over. Um, that month literally <laughs> flew by. It was dreading while I was in it, but it, it actually went by pretty fast. And I know this month is going to go by fast, too, because I have something to do every single week in May. Like, for instance, this week I went to the doctor on Monday. Next week. I have breastfeeding class. The following week, I have labor and delivery. Um, the following week, I have my hospital tour. And the following week is my baby shower. So, I'm so excited for this month. Like, you have no idea. Um, but, anyways, I'm feeling good right now. Mine is me, so I'm sounding a little bit stuffy. So, if I sound like I'm not myself, it's because I have a stuffy nose. Um, I don't think I'm sick or anything like that. I just have a cough and a really bad stuffy nose because I sleep with my fan on. And even though I'm sick, I still sleep with it on. Um, it's like I can't go to sleep without it. Me and my little brother is the same way. No matter how sick we are, we'll still sleep with the fan just because we won't be able to get to sleep if we don't have it on. Um, so... Um, this week in my pregnancy Bible, it says Kaylee, um, is weighing in at an oppressive three plus pounds this week, and she's at 18 inches long, give or take a few inches. Um, so 18 inches long is pretty big to me. It's kind of hard to believe that she's that long. Um, just because when babies are first born, they're like 17, 19 inches long, 20 inches long. So, I don't know. I don't think she's that big. But um, as far as her weight, I don't know how much she weighs. I hope she's right on track. Um, but, yeah. So, I'll start with um, symptoms. Two new symptoms for me. Well, not really new. I just have... I've, I've for, I kept forgetting to mention them in my videos for the past couple of weeks. Um, my hands are swollen. Oh, check out my I Love Boobies bracelet. It's dope, huh? <laughs> anyway, my fingers are swollen. I've always had, like, man hands, <laughs> like sausage fingers. But I can tell they're swollen because I can't close them like this. See? They're supposed to be able to close them, make a complete, but it, they won't close. And my feet are swollen. I would show you, but well, I'll try. No, I would show you, but I don't have a fresh pedicure. <laughs> so, you're just going to have to take my word for it. They're swollen. Um, they don't hurt or anything like that, but it's just not sexy to me. <laughs> like, Kenny calls me swollen feet all the time, all day, every day. Um, but, yeah, I mean, as long as it's not painful, it's not causing me no problems. Like, I don't wear rings. Um, I haven't been wearing them for a while. I usually wear one or two, but I haven't been wearing them, so. But that's the way that I'm I tell that they're swollen. Um, I'm still having Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, like I was telling you guys in the last video that I made, um, they were happening back to back to back when I was in the mood theater. So, I brought it up to my doctor's attention and he said not to worry about it. It's totally normal. Just when I have contractions 15 minutes apart for an hour straight, um, then I need to go to labor and delivery. So, that's not happening to me, so I have nothing to worry about. Um, something not scary, but kind of scary happened to me. Um, Kaylee didn't, wasn't moving as much as she's, she was, like, you know, you're supposed to 
do the the 10 count the 10 kick count every two hours or something like that and I hadn't like I, I wasn't really counting um, on Sunday so she wasn't moving that much and I didn't think nothing of it because I felt her here and there but she wasn't as active like usually now I feel her all the time like throughout the day at night whenever I'm laying down anytime so she just wasn't as active I guess she slept the majority of the day so I just said hey I'm not gonna you know go to labor and delivery because she's not moving um, especially if I have a doctor's appointment early tomorrow morning. So, my doctor told me that that was the wrong thing to do. Don't wait for an appointment. Don't email him. Don't call him. Go straight to labor and delivery if your baby is not making those kick counts. So, if your baby is not making those counts, those kicks, um, 10, at least 2 hours, Every two hours, she should kick at least ten times, or move. She feel her move at least ten times every two hours. So if your baby isn't making those, you need to go to labor and delivery, or call your hospital. In case you didn't know that. Um, so, um, he sent me over to fetal testing after we did our, you know, standard exam and you know check the baby and things like that. So. When I went over to there, they had me lay down on my side and put that monitor on my baby, like the baby's heartbeat. And for like literally 30 minutes, I was just laying there. And it was cool though, to me it was cool. But Kenny had to wait in the waiting room for that part. And he like fell asleep. He was bored, but I was bored too, but I was just sitting there. So <clears throat> you hear the baby heartbeat and it's the coolest thing ever because you can hear every time the baby moves. So they put, it's like a circle that's probably like the size of this. So, yes, yeah, like the size of that and um, they put it on you and it just wrap it around you and it it's monitoring your baby. Every time the baby moves or kicks, it'll be like, it'll make a loud <laughs> like a loud grow noise um every time the baby move or kick it'll make a loud noise like <laughs> like it's a weird noise but it's um yeah every time you move every time the baby kicks the movement it did that a lot so I knew that she was okay so after that they gave me an ultrasound to see the baby's heartbeat her movement and to check my water everything was perfect everything was absolutely fine um ultrasound was cool she's so big um, we hadn't seen her in so long so it was like surreal to see her on there um, she was hiding her face so we didn't get a profile picture but we did get a picture of her foot and if you guys remember from my earlier videos I had a picture of her foot imprint and it was like this big her foot's like this like this big now enlarged at least it's not gonna be that big when she's born of course but um, yeah, so it just shows like her growth, but everything came out normal, everything came out fine. Um, once I got up from laying on my side, my vag hurt it so bad, it was like unbelievable pressure. Like, oh my gosh, they were laughing at me because I was like, oh my gosh, my vagina hurts, <laughs> like, <laughs> ow, <laughs> but um. Yeah, the nurses were laughing at me, but it was pretty funny. It was just a very uncomfortable feeling. Um, so that was that. We were there for about an hour, and Kenny got to go back for the ultrasound with me, so I didn't do that by myself. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So that was cool. Um, now my actual doctor's visit. I'm going to put a video of my actual doctor's visit at the end of this if my time don't run out but um we did the standard he measured me this way and I'm measuring 30 remember last time I was measuring one ahead and now I'm measuring one behind which is retarded but okay he said it's still fine not to worry about it and her heartbeat was 145 so she still has a good strong heartbeat that's my girl <laughs> and um the best news ever is she's head down now. Good girl. She's head down now. So, 
and he said he's been you know doing this for seven years and he has never seen well only once has he seen a baby flip over at, at 35 weeks so my chances of her staying head down from now until I deliver her are very 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 good and one of my biggest concerns was that she was going to be breached I just I'm trying to eliminate all causes for me to have a c-section and that was my number one scared um, I don't know how you want to say it but I was scared that she was going to be breached and that was going to be my number one reason for having to have a c-section now I'm aware that anything could happen and you know the baby's heart may may drop I may not be dilating you know anything could happen where I have to have a c-section but I'm just glad that she's not breached and she's head down which also explains all the pressure that I've been feeling in my pelvis so um yeah what else still no cravings <coughs> so that was the doctor's visit I see him again June 6 which is exactly the Monday after my baby shower my baby shower is the fourth I see him June 6 and I will be 36 weeks pregnant and at that time he's gonna perform my group B strep test so very interesting and very excited for you know the upcoming stuff finally things are happening and I'm not just sitting around waiting anymore <laughs> you know that's a slow waiting process it's just so hard when you're, and I'm so 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 impatient so um, yeah so that was that and um, like I was saying still no cravings still no morning sickness fatigue is gone I believe um, here and there I, I feel fatigued but for the most part it's cool um, I'm trying to keep a more positive attitude about my job being that I only have t to work there until maternity leave for about six more weeks six or seven more weeks so I'm trying to make the best of it right now um, so I'm, I was feeling better today I wasn't that irritated at work <laughs> minus there's so many rude people in the world I, like, I don't understand why people are so rude just have a good day like <laughs> yeah working in customer service over the phone people are so much bolder than they would be in person but it's life what can you do about it um, I think that's all that I wanted to tell you guys um, well I, f I finally finished um, pretty much finished I still need to do some final final editing for my maternity video shoot with Kimmy but that video will be up within the next week and a half I promise if I don't upload it tonight tomorrow I promise it'll be up before next week so look out for my maternity picture video my maternity photo shoot video sorry <laughs> um, other than that I think that is all that I have for you guys again I'm gonna post my doctor's visit video behind this and I will show you guys my belly um, I'm trying to think is there anything else I want to tell you guys oh my sisters <coughs> are going to St. Thomas on Thursday <coughs> excuse me my sisters are going to St. Thomas like I'm so jealous because I want to go on this sister trip but they decide to go without me and it's just not fair last year around this time we were in Miami partying hard let me tell you Miami is whew. I know there's a few people on here that live in Miami that city is so much fun South Beach at least I was at South, South Beach <laughs> um, so they're going to St. Thomas and I can't go because I'm pregnant so I'm a little bit bitter and I'm a little bit happy that it's raining so they won't have that much fun but <laughs> I'm just jealous I really want to go but I'm like couldn't they just go to Vegas or something like we it's a four or five hour drive from where I live and they go to such a beautiful island this of St. Thomas and it, it couldn't just be worst timing ever like I'm pregnant so I can't go and I wouldn't want to go like but mm, they leave Thursday so yeah oh Mother's Day is Sunday happy Mother's Day happy early Mother's Day to all of you guys that um, are mothers already kudos happy Mother's Day I hope you guys spend it well um, we are barely missing Mother's Day ladies so don't be bummed um, it's, it kind of sucks for us 
because we may even have our babies before Father's Day and then they'll be able to celebrate Father's Day. So I'm hoping Kaylee comes after Father's Day, but she doesn't wait that long past her due date to come. But I don't know, call me selfish, but whatever. <laughs> so um, I'll show you guys my belly and that will be it for week 31. People still tell me they can't believe how small I am for almost being eight months pregnant. And you know how many times I hear people say, watch, you're going to blow up at the very end. But whatever. <laughs> so I'm Nikea and I am 31 weeks pregnant. Have a good Mother's Day and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Okay. Probably too big to flip. Is she really? Yeah. So when is well, no, I mean, I, not. I said probably. Yeah. Probably. There's mm -hmm. a part right there. Legs are up here. So she has a Yeah. Oh, it's good to see there. See the, these these long bones right here. Yeah. Those are leg bones. Her legs are all folded up in there. Okay. The bottom line is head is down. Okay. That's the head. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna say probably. I have seen a baby flip at 35 weeks. I've only seen that once. I've been doing this for seven years, and I was shocked. I was like, what the, you know, <laughs> so mom was all freaking out. So usually when they're head down, they usually stay that way? Usually. Okay. Not always, but mm -hmm. usually. Because every week your baby gets a little bit bigger. Right. She looks a whole lot bigger than you want to see. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's count the heartbeat. That will be done. And then you'll have to give up some of the graffiti testing. Okay, 145. Normal heartbeat. Perfect. They'll monitor you for 20 minutes over there. Okay. They'll get a good, the whole pattern, make sure everything looks good. Okay.